All right, guys, this is day two of my seven day work week marathon I'm going to do on my Tudor Hardtop 55 project to get it finished. So today is Tuesday, June 6, 2023, and it's actually I'm getting out here late because I forgot to wash my work jeans last night. So uh, right now I'm in shorts, my jeans are in the dryer, and I'm not about to uh, let you see my bright white legs because if you don't have sunglasses on, it will blind you. So, I'm getting ready to get started and continue on on the, on the trunk upholstery. <laughs> Maybe I can get a little further today than yesterday. My gosh, I spent way too much time thinking and figuring things out, I guess. And I gotta say, making a template out of poster board for that panel so it fits the body really well, that was rather difficult because poster board's pretty flimsy stuff. But it's all I got here, so I am going to get to it. I got my little cut off piece of masonite out and I've kind of put little pieces of tape on that to hold it down. The wind blew just a little bit ago and then it quit so <laughs> at least it's not going anywhere. So I'm going to trace this out and then I'm going to cut it out with a, a jigsaw and I test fit this one on the other side. It doesn't have this kick up in it but uh, all of this right here fits the body perfectly so and some of this here uh, but anyway it'll need to be extended down just a little bit a little bit here and then pretty much just draw a straight line so I can kind of modify my old template instead of having to go through and spend another hour making another one and trimming a little bit and trimming a little bit and trimming a little bit that's taking a lot of time just making these templates all right so I was starting to make this template this half of a template I've got to put another piece and tape it to it to do this side but I'm starting to cut out the wheel well opening down there and then I'm noticing that this poster boards pushing in on me so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out this piece of masonite and get it set up in there I actually probably need to build both but most likely after uh, Getting this side done on this template, I can probably just turn it over and use it on that side. Hopefully.
All right, so I kept trimming and trimming and trimming, and I got it to where it fits kind of nice. That one little spot right here I need to work down a little bit more. I got to give it space uh, through there for the material to wrap around so I can't have it super tight up against it. I got that notch where it fits the the bead in there pretty nice and then I got to get my L brackets a few of them set up in here and figure out where they go so this is going to be very very time consuming this may end up taking all week to do this stupid trunk all right so I had to make a trip downtown and I have a couple of pieces of this aluminum strap that's eight eighth inch thick I think it's three quarter wide and my idea originally was to make some L brackets myself out of the aluminum. Just cut them and then bend them. And then I was going to mount them up in here. And that was going to be where I drilled a hole in it for the door panel clip to go through on the back of the little upholstered panel I'm putting in. Problem is, uh, the aluminum is stressing out. So they're not very durable I really thought I'd be able to bend that and it'd probably be okay but they actually have to be over bent and I think that's what really does a number on them I can get a straight 90 and it's not too bad but when I have to go past it it really screws it up so this one actually broke so my next idea was I'd get my propane torch and each one of them I would put it in the brake and then heat it up with my propane torch and basically anneal it and that way it would be able to be bent but that would take probably two hours to do them all one by one you know what I mean so I made the call and just went to uh, down to Lowe's and got some L brackets here wasn't actually sure which size I needed these are kind of expensive. They're like, uh, I think they're six dollars and something for a pack of four. And I'm gonna need more, but I wanted to make sure of what I needed first. Because the thing about putting an L bracket up in here, I have to get past the trunk jam right here. So when you look under here, you've got this little area right here. So if I put a screw through that, it's going to come out right here where the trunk river is supposed to meet up to. So I have to get it back here. So I'm going to have a lot of L bracket hanging out in the wind out here, but I want to put two screws in each one. So I bought some self-drillers, self-drilling screws to put in there. So that's why I wasn't sure if I needed these really long ones, which it kind of looks like I do, actually. So... Yeah, these might work too. I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's already, I don't know, probably 3 o'clock p.m. And all I've got is one panel cut out and final fit to the car. I still don't have any brackets put in. I mean, this is, this has turned into a big, huge mess, man. There's a lot to this. And... You know, when you're an amateur at stuff and you got to try to figure stuff out on your own, that don't help much. Man, that, that took a long time just to get the brackets put in the car. Each one of those brackets had to be modified and holes drilled and that bent and all kinds of stuff. Specifically for where they were going on the car. So what I did is everywhere there's an L bracket that I've got bolted to the car... I put masking tape in that area and I drew lines on indicating the direction the bracket's going. And then I transferred it to this once I set it up in here. So basically I've got four L brackets here to hold this here. And then that piece that's gonna go across the back is gonna hold tension up here on that. So I'm not gonna worry about putting an L bracket up there. There's not really anywhere to put one up there anyway. So this thing is going to fit really, really nice. Uh, so when I wrap it with the upholstery, it's going to get bigger all the way around, but I subtracted for all of that all the way around. 
so it should work pretty good. Now I get to do some more measuring. So you can see these L brackets the way I did them. This one, this was the only one that I used that was pretty well straight. Uh, I did have to over bend it uh, way past 90 and then had to drill an extra hole because I can't use the existing hole in the Zell brackets, the inside one, because it would come up through where the trunk flange is. So I had to get it out there. But I wanted two pieces of, I wanted two screws in each one. That way it doesn't pivot or turn. So this way it's locked in there and they're pretty stout. I used some uh, self drillers. These are uh, quarter inch, quarter by 14 by three quarter. So, when it gets down to here, this curves in really hard, so I had to curve that bracket. Then this one, I used, I bought short ones and I bought long ones here. So I used a short one on the end of the board right here on my lower piece. And I bolted it too, and then I drilled a small hole and countersunk it. And put one of the screws that came with the L brackets down in there, so it has a, like a Phillips screw in it, and then it has a, quarter inch nut and bolt on it but that dude ain't going anywhere so my target for when I uh, do this I want to drill a hole dead middle of this dead middle of each one of those is my target for my door panel clips but they're offset so this is where it gets a little bit fun so I've got these door panel clips it's the same ones I used on the door panels inside the car when I made those and this is an offset clip so you drill a I don't know if it has a quarter or five sixteenths hole I don't remember but I did make a template so I have to offset that so that's basically what I'm trying to do now is figure out because I have to drill holes in this panel everywhere I've got it marked and then mount the clip and then that's the when I drill the hole in that panel for this clip that's when I use stick that up there and then mark mark the hole and then I have to use my template for my offset hole because those are offset so it, this is a mess man let me tell you this is something I thought I'd do in probably three days and it's I mean once I get this part figured out it kind of gets to know what I need to do with this well if you can hear that <laughs> that kind of put a dampener on the progress here so I was getting ready to drill out the clips for these brackets drill the holes in the center uh, for these clips to go into the panel and then that would I could have attached that but it's starting to rain so now I've got to clean up my mess so I guess that's it for the day guys and again didn't get anything done how awesome is that I'll tell you what I'm thinking about doing is going to bed really early tonight and come out here about 7 in the morning maybe. Might give that a go.